Since the pandemic closed offices, wiping out millions of jobs, many people have thought of new and creative ways to make money. Two News reporter Kiana Deitches shows us how local business owners are changing course using social media. It's what's working in the Miami Valley. A California woman is starting a business here in Tip City, but she says it may not have been possible if the pandemic didn't force her to put her social media skills to work. For about two months, there was no work. I, because I do a lot of criminal defense, the courthouses were closed. Lisa Phillips says she would have never joined TikTok if she hadn't been at home. But when she did, her following grew. I went on there terrified of my own voice, terrified to show my face, but I did it and people appreciate that I'm real and I tell real stories. Her top video has over 4 million views and her page Pink Lady Investigations has nearly 100,000 followers. She says she believes the page is changing people's perception of her job. They have the idea of the old man in a trench coat as a private investigator. UD professor Vincent Lewis says using digital marketing tools to leverage business is not a new trend, but says we began seeing more of it during the pandemic. Since the pandemic, uh, the U.S. House Committee on Small Business estimates that we've lost about 110,000 small businesses in the United States. And, you know, the fear is that we could lose millions more. He says using social media to gain followers is a great way to push a business forward as an entrepreneur. But when you see higher unemployment, higher unemployment rates, you see more people doing taking on entrepreneurial ventures, right? Trying to do something entrepreneurial because you need to you need to feed the family. You need to uh, earn a living. Phillips says she's noticing her line of work is also seeing new trends. A lot of females are getting involved, which is awesome. Keanu Deutsch's 5 on 2.